Hello Taurus, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all doing amazing. Thank you very much for joining me. And for those that are new to my channel, a very warm welcome. And cross watchers, you are definitely welcome to you as well because this is a general love reading. The roles can always be reversed, right? They can always be flipped. So Taurus, apply it to your situation. Take only what resonates, what feels true, or what I'm already confirming that you know. And whatever doesn't resonate, and you definitely know that's not part of my story, just toss it to the side. You definitely do not need it. So just pick and choose and apply it to your situation, Taurus. So in saying that, let's get straight into it. Let's see what is happening around your heart space right now. What is it that you should be you know, looking forward to you know, as a heads up? Who is thinking about you the most? Or you know, what are you thinking about the most here? For the collective watching this, who's coming towards you? Let's see, let's get some new um, information for you. New insights, new clarity. Let's see. And also Taurus, 100% um, optional, but if this reading does resonate with you, there will be an extended reading. And the link to the extended is in the description box below. It is the first link underneath all the stars. So for those that are new to my channel, the purpose of the extended is that I focus 100% on your person and only on your person and whatever's happening around them as well. Um, so I focus on their true thoughts and feelings about you and this connection, their intentions, desires, actions, outcome, and of course, advice for both of you moving forward, Taurus. So if you stick around to the end of this video, Taurus, you will see a glimpse of your extended. I use around four different decks. It's pretty full on, there's a lot to get through, but I just really like to dissect um, not literally your person, of course, um, but just to dissect what's happening around your person. And I'll be reading that from their point of view about you, Taurus. So let's see. Let's get straight into it, Taurus. What is happening around your beautiful heart space, Taurus? Oh, okay. So we have a dominant card that uh, is a highlighted message for you. Let's, uh, I will look at that before... I pull out any other cards, that one as well. Sometimes I don't get any highlighted messages. Sometimes I do, so we always have to trust when it happens. So the first card we got was the Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy right there. Um, maybe for some of you, um, met someone or perhaps will meet someone through your studies, through work, um, Maybe actually work with this person as well. Maybe there's a beautiful crush. There's something happening there as well. I do feel also, Taurus, that uh, a lot of you are, if you're not really busy, you're going to be really busy soon. Um, this is, you know, heads down and just working. But this represents, Taurus, when you have a particular skill, you have a talent, and you're going to get paid very well for it. So do not worry too much about your finances as well. Oh, yeah, we got the beautiful Six of Wands. One of my favorite victory cards, Leo Energy here. So... I actually like this energy. It's about victory. It's not about overnight success. It's something perhaps that you and particular person want to meet in the middle and really just create magic here. Yes, perhaps it will require work. We'll find out why when I take the cards out. Um, but this is all about success. Now, yes, there may be people here below you that are not happy. That is their problem, Taurus, okay? Because you're a hard worker here. And you're prepared to put in the hard work to make this successful. I'm also picking up that there is someone that, you know, finally they want to put you up on a pedestal here and kind of like show you off as well. So I also feel that a lot of you are working on a certain project that's going to gain a lot of attention in a positive way. The Six of Wands is all about, you know, victory, recognition for hard work, awards, laurels, even award ceremonies. So that is looking really good for you. Um, but yeah, we all, there you are. Look at that. We've got the Empress. Taurus energy. You are very abundant, Taurus. If you don't feel it that way, get ready. This is the most abundant card in the entire deck. And you're represented as this. We actually have someone literally that wants to give birth to this connection. Really see it flourish to its full capacity. Um, now, yes, it is the pregnancy card, Taurus. So um, do you want children? Do you already have children? It's representing that here. Um, it's a very, very fertile card here. Now, if you don't want children, if there are no children, like I said, if this person, or perhaps both of you want to give birth to this connection here. Wow. Okay. Your person's holding in a lot of high regard. There's a lot of respect here towards you, Taurus. 
Now we do have a Knight of Pentacles, strong Virgo, Taurus and Capricorn. Perhaps you're dealing with another Taurus. We definitely have someone here that's probably moving a little bit too slow. Maybe this connection is moving slow. But this is the thing. This is my favorite Knight, Taurus. And I say that because when this Knight finally arrives in your life, they arrive correctly. Male or female does not matter here. They really thought about what to offer you, what to say, the next actions here. Uh, they're going to offer you something quite solid there. They, you know, we have the knight that's holding that ace of pentacles here. So it's looking very grounded. It's looking quite promising. All right, we have the six of cups and the three of wands, ten of cups. Wow, my God, the two of cups and temperance, page of wands. Look at this. Look at this energy that's kind of brewing. It's gaining momentum. It's we have someone here, perhaps you have history with this person. Six of Cups, strong Scorpio energy. Doesn't have to be. And again, showing me there could be children involved or the desire to have children. I'm really feeling here that we have someone that's feeling quite melancholic about you or just nostalgic. You know, it kind of brings a smile to their face when they think about you. This is definitely someone popping up from your past. Um, please don't shoot the messenger. I do like talking about new romance, but when, we, when I do see someone from your past, I do have to acknowledge it though. Someone is probably taking their sweet time. Perhaps it was a long time since the last time you spoke to this person, but they're going to reappear. Oh, wow. Three of wands. Yeah, Aries energy. Maybe this person is at a distance as well. They don't have to be, um, but this is about waiting for the right moment. There is a reason why they're being so slow. You know, it's really, it would, I think it would test anyone's patient here. It's because they're waiting for the right moment. That's why. And then it's like your ship's coming in. They're literally coming in here, Taurus. Look at this. They're coming in with pure intentions. Ten of Cups, Pisces energy, Two of Cups, Cancer energy here. So this is my happily ever after card. This is all about having that, you know, that beautiful, happy reconciliation, happy home life, children or a blended family, domestic bliss here, possibly marriage. I have to say it. And that Two of Cups is a deep soulmate connection. It shows to me that you are mirroring each other. So what does that mean? Taurus, basically, if you're doing something random in your life, working, going to the toilet, whatever it is, and this person just pops up in your mind, you can sure as hell bet that they are actually thinking about you and you're not giving up on each other. This is what's happening here. The Two of Cups always says, don't give up on each other just yet. Not yet. <laughs> We've waited so long. Let's wait a little bit more. Um, and that temperance is all about taking your time one day at a time. It's all about moderation and being patient with each other. More importantly, for some reason, I'm picking up your person needs to be patient with you as well. We'll find out. Let's put the cards down and I will be clarifying these cards. It's looking beautiful though. Yeah, we start off with judgment, very strong Scorpio, perhaps Libra energy as well. So there is that judgment call, that final decision that someone will be asking you for a second chance. Taurus, you know, they're coming back saying, hey, it's me. Um, can we meet up, for example? And I feel like they're going to slowly slip it in that they would like a second chance. Kind of pick up where you left off, though. What else? The Nine of Cups, Pisces energy. It's very clear here, Taurus. Very clear. Whether they verbalized this to you in the past or not, that you are their wish fulfillment. And a lot of people don't know this, Taurus, but the Nine of Cups can actually show within nine months that there could be a pregnancy as well. Yes, I have to say it. So if you don't want children, just probably be careful. <laughs> um, if you do, beautiful. Um, but we do have a wish fulfillment. You are each other's wish fulfillment. You mirror each other. This is like the ultimate power couple. It's like the ultimate partnership. Lots of sweet energy. Four of wands. Aries energy. So this is, again, more happy reconciliation. You must know, Taurus, this is also my marriage card. So... There could also be a change of employment here. There could be travel to reach, you know, this new um, job, change of address, moving into a new home. Would not be surprised here, Taurus, that if you were to say, okay, I would like to reconcile with you, that um, within a couple of months, this could be a very committed relationship, which often does lead to marriage. This is a celebration card. It just comes with a lot of celebration. Like they literally say, pop, you know, the champagne cork. Is that how they say it? Pop the champagne. Page of Cups. Could be children involved here for some of you, or again, the need, to, you know, desire to have children. Um, yeah, there could be an age difference. Maybe Taurus, you're younger or they are younger than you, for example. This is also my apology card. What started off at the very start, if we have to backtrack, what started off as a crush is full-fledged. There's a lot of love here. I have to admit, this person does love you. And if you have to be really honest with yourself right now, Taurus, do you still love this person? Do you have a soft, soft, soft spot for them? I'm going to say yes. Because we have the Two of Cups, the Ten of Cups, Page of Cups, the Nine of Cups. It's all fueled by so many emotions here, so much love. So Page of Cups is all about messages. 
well, literally all pages are about messages. This will be of the romantic kind here as well. Um, something that really kind of just, it hits that soft spot in your heart here, Taurus. What's the beating heart of your reading? Wow, more cups. We have the King of Cups. Very strong Scorpio energy here again. Could also be a Pisces and a Cancer. So this is someone here that has really leveled up. I do like that. Okay, the communication may be a page and perhaps a knight. They're coming to you at the beating heart of your reading, Taurus, as a king. Now, remember, male or female here doesn't matter because we equally have, you know, um, we have masculine and feminine parts of ourselves here. Now, this is someone perhaps in the past that was probably not the best person to express themselves. The love was always there. As you can see, they're ready now to give you that cup of love, which is that ace of cups. Um, but this person, you can better sure as hell, this person does love you. And I feel that what started off as a crush is full-fledged love now. So there is something major happening here. I am getting really positive energy with this person. Let's see. We also have the King of Pentacles. Very strong Taurus energy as well. Could be a Virgo and a Capricorn. Now, the King of Pentacles, it's actually quite interesting. This is usually someone that is in a committed relationship already or is married. If they're not, because we do have the marriage card there, they are seeing marriage with you. Now, for some of you, you may have your eye, you may have options, because remember, the twos are all about choices. Um, you actually may have two options here with a water sign, perhaps an earth sign here as well. Um, I'm not really getting that so far, but I'm getting more qualities about your person is that not only is there a lot of love here, this person really wants to take care of you financially. They want to offer you that compatibility once more, stability, commitment, and often marriage here as well. This person I feel here is also in a very good um financial position here as well they've worked very hard for it so yeah they're very generous with their money with the people that they care about which happens to be you taurus we have the moon very strong pisces and cancer energy here we have the high priestess pisces energy again lots of water if you've noticed then we end with the knight of wands that's my traveling knight if you are in a long distance connection they are traveling to see you though so let's see i do feel here that your person not everything is as it seems, Taurus, with this moon card. If you really think that your person, if you haven't heard from them and you think they don't care about you, um, no, they're holding back. They're actually loving you in secrecy. And it's like, no more of that. I've got to take charge. I'm going to go galloping. <laughs> I'm going to, you know, really just go towards now. I'm going to take action and go towards um, Taurus. So this does indicate maybe there's a bit of internal fears, anxieties. It's about fantasies and illusions, possibly sometimes of the worst case scenario, because you're kind of in the dark saying, okay, so it didn't work out in the past. So why should it work out now though? Um, so I've got like a big portion of, you could say your heart where you're really in it. But then there's that tiny portion where it's kind of saying, oh, what if they're lying to me? What if this is too good to be true? I would say get out of your head and listen to your intuition. Your intuition is calling for you because it's actually saying here, oh, I think you know whether this person's coming back with good intentions though. And I feel like they are though. The High Priestess again is all about um, intuition. Now, what I really find amazing that you got two intuition cards. Now, perhaps there were some secrets with this person. Maybe they are being quite secretive or maybe you're holding back here as well. Probably there's that fear that you probably don't wanna get hurt. Is this too good to be true? Um, if you kind of really think about it, you did not get any challenging cards. And I'm really honest in my readings. I don't like to sugarcoat anything or provide wishful thinking because that's just cruel. But if you kind of look at it, you did not get any challenging cards, anything that's to go against you, though. Um, and certainly, you know, the high priestess is she who already knows. So this person knows they need to come clean with you as well. Um, mm, it's my quiet card where you really don't have to do much, Taurus. Knowledge, secrets, information, more communication will all be revealed to you as well. So this is looking pretty good. But in saying that, let's clarify. Look at that. So you got already, I split the deck. So I split the energies. I got a lot more deeper. You already got your power couple here, the queen and the king of pentacles. That is my committed relationship, my, my married couple here, my, my basically the power couple of, you know, stability, commitment, the hierophant again. Look at that. Taurus energy. Also, oh, it's the first time we got it. It's just we've got the Empress there, Taurus and Hierophant Taurus. It's my marriage. There is either you were married to this person. Do you want to get married to this person? I'm saying here that they they do what they seek marriage with you. Wow. Let's clarify. This is looking amazing. I'm wondering what happened though, because we've got that page of cups here again. Certainly, if you feel on some level, yeah, you are due an apology, it's gonna happen. Yeah, see the nine of pentacles. 
Ooh, okay, that's Virgo energy. So I do feel that you are pretty much at the moment focusing on your career, your finances, your study here. Um, do you feel a lot of you feel like you're 100% single as well? Yeah, this person's coming back with happiness and blessings. The sun, Leo energy. Let's get a good shuffle here for you. Yeah, they want a brand new start. Ace of Cups. My God, this person is infatuated with you. I don't know what you did here, Taurus, but you've had a profound effect on them. All right, let's do this. Taurus, please. Taurus, this person. This is looking amazing. Ooh. Oh, Queen of Cups, King of Cups. Yeah, power couple of emotions. Look at that. It's just funny how it faced up, you know, just directly at the feet here of the King of Cups. Placement of the cards are very important here, Taurus. Very important. Illustrations are important where people are looking in the cards as well. All right, bottom of the deck, what do we have? Six of Cups. Mm -hmm. We've got it again. You've got it once there and you've got it here. So if you are mirroring each other, I feel like perhaps both of you actually want this um, reconciliation. I just feel like no one is saying it at the moment. Your person's kind of like even just trying to not react if you know, they think of you or someone mentions you, for example. But yeah, we've got reconciliation, deep past life connection, children here on some level. We also have uh, justice, Libra energy. It is my apology card. It is your person wishing to wrong, sorry, to right all the wrongs that they've done. They don't want to do wrong. They want to right all the wrongs that they have done. The scales are balanced. Um, now, the, the, if there was a divorce here as well, for example, if you were together and they would, you know, now you're divorced, I would be not, I would not be surprised if they wish to remarry or be committed again. If your person was married to someone else, there's perhaps also divorce or some legalities going on there as well. Yeah, we've got the eight of pentacles again. You've got it there and now you've got it here again. Interesting. Um, there could also be some signing of contracts here between maybe it's happening to you or your person as well. Something to do with business, finances, selling, buying um, property here. They're prepared to work hard on this. Look at that. You've got the Knight of Cups. So again, an apology, love offers, romantic changes, and they're watching you. They are watching you like a hawk. That's the messenger here. Did your person walk away or did they reject you in the past? Because now they want that brand new beginning with you. There's that King of Pentacles again. Oh, wow. So let's clarify that judgment. We have the Magician. Gemini, Virgo energy. So it's very clear here that uh, your person wishes to make have a brand new start. They're trying to manifest a new start. So how are they doing that? By sending you some messages first, by treading a little bit carefully, testing the water, see how you're going to react. It's clearly showing me here that, well, perhaps both of you have the tools you need to make this work. The magician is known as sometimes the one, the knight in shining armor, as well as the knight of wands. We have someone charging towards you here. And this person's very good looking, I can already tell. Very, um, very beautiful, very handsome here. But yeah, wow. Yeah, it's known as the one, Mr. or Mrs. Wright, for example. And this is known as, you know, the knight in shining armor. So everything is kind of pointing to, hey, this may be the one. Didn't work out in the past. Maybe, perhaps, this person does deserve a second chance. So clarifying that nine of cups. Another nine, nine of swords. Gemini energy. So what there is regret here over past actions that your person did here to you, to this connection, to the potential that this connection had here. Um, your person here is a little bit afraid of approaching you. They Perhaps they find you intimidating as well. Um, they are having sleepless nights, weird dreams, perhaps even nightmares as well. But major regret here, it's like they're really realizing now that you really were the wish fulfillment here there is so much love here towards you taurus haven't seen this in a very long time with um with your star sign or any other star sign clarifying that four of wands we have the devil capricorn energy so this is the card of extremes and i feel like your person is pretty much obsessing over their negative thoughts because if you look here in the window what's haunting your person is the devil which is right there so there we go I'm also wondering, you know, the, like I said, the devil is the card of extremes. It's a card of temptation here as well. I, last week, I swore, I couldn't have sworn last week, Taurus, I picked up that your person was very obsessed, very infatuated to actually communicate with you. So it's kind of like, it's kind of spilling over into this reading here as well. They are coming back with good intentions, but you had a profound effect on them, Taurus, because pretty much, you know, if they think about romance and love and all that, you're the only one that comes to their mind. 
if your person was married to someone else, for example, they were, you know, if there was a third party, um, perhaps they're also dealing here with um, a karmic here as well. I don't feel like there's any love here. In fact, your person is kind of mentally suffering, to be honest. You are all they think about. I have to say that. This is reminding me a little bit of last week's reading. Um, this one's getting a lot more emotionally fueled here, I have to admit. So let's clarify that page of cups. The strength card, Leo energy. Wow, this is the return of health here. And it's funny because, you know, every time I see the strength card, it's like your person tried really hard in the past to hold back. This is about like self-control. This is also really saying that your person needs to use honey instead of vinegar. That's like a metaphor here. They need to approach you and this situation quite gently, not aggressively, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Not to force anything, take it one day at a time. Literally, this can go from strength to strength. But um, your person, because they're a little bit afraid here, a little bit nervous, perhaps a bit depressed, I hope not, um, they're using their courage and the strength here to send you that message. And they will. They will. I'm just saying, they will. Clarifying that King of Cups. The Chariot, Cancer Energy, showing that this person is charging towards you. After this message, if you reciprocate and you reply, this King of Cups is going to be charging towards you. Cancer Energy, even if they are at a distance, that's not going to stop them. Um, this is by far the fastest moving energy in the entire deck. This is someone that is determined that they want this to be victorious this time round. Make it better than before. I like how determined this person is. I'll give them that. So clarifying that King of Pentacles, we have the Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Mm -hmm. All right, like I was saying, maybe you work with this person. Um, maybe you actually know each other through friends, a professional network of friends, uh, could also be maybe through your studies, for example. If not, for the collective, this is going to resonate for all of you. I mean, it's part of the message for you is that they want to be Team Taurus. They want to be part of your team again. Collaborate some magic and love with you now. Create something wonderful, beautiful home life, commitment, marriage, work with you, not against you. Wow. Um, and a lot of people don't know that sometimes this can mean marriage. The traditional tarot shows a couple getting married and there's a priest there as well. Um, it can also show a bit of jealousy from people around you or around your person. That's their problem. I always say that they shouldn't interfere. So clarifying the moon, we have you, the empress again. So we got the empress once, now we got it twice. Wow. They, I have to admit, they're thinking about you. They're watching you in secret because the moon can represent secrets as well. Um, and I have a feeling perhaps, Taurus, is your intuition telling you that this is not entirely over? Even if it's, it feels like it's done and dusted and there's no physical evidence to show you that well, this can continue, you know, intuition, it never leads you astray that gut feeling that this person, they're doing something in secrecy behind your back, not in a bad way. It's like, how do I approach you? How can I bring this back to life again with Taurus? So they're really thinking about you. They're holding you in high regard here. Wow. I mean, the Empress, you know, going this way with the chariot and the devil, it's like all they're thinking about, I want to be successful. I want to be victorious and win back Taurus. So, wow. Clarifying the High Priestess, we have the moon again. So much intuition here. There are so many things in the dark. Um, strong Pisces and Cancer energy. So many things here, Taurus, that you probably don't know about your person, such as how much they're pretty much obsessing over you, how much they love you, how much they want to bring this back again, how much they're sorry here as well. Wow. This is going to be illuminated. Nothing can stay in the dark forever, Taurus. So clarifying that Knight of Wands, we have the Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energy. So, you know, maybe according to your person, it's like as they're approaching you, yes, they're feeling a little bit defeated, a little bit deflated about this connection here as well. It's almost like their intuition is kind of saying that your guards are probably up, your boundaries are very strong, you're very discerning about who you let back into your energy or anyone new. Um, yeah, probably a little bit apprehensive here, but this is the Wounded Warrior Taurus and the Wounded Warrior does not give up as well. So we also have the Four of Swords, the Death card, Four of Cups, this person really misses you. And mm, gonna get one more. Yeah, look at this. Um, the six, sorry, that is a seven of cups. That is uh, Scorpio energy here. Options, how to approach you here. I think they're worried if you do have options here as well. Four of Swords, Libra energy. Yee, your person is like mentally, physically tired here. And that death card, Scorpio energy. Yeah, I think they're afraid that this is actually over. It's not gonna stop them though, that's the thing. It's not going to stop them, but they're afraid here that it's like, well, this is over. I did my choice. Whatever I did to hurt Taurus, however it fizzled out, or, yeah, they miss you. Cancer energy, and look at that. They're refusing to let you go. All these fours are all about, you know, having a solid platform, security, stability here. They cannot let you go. 
They refuse to with that devil card. I'm just saying they refuse to. This is going to be so interesting, Taurus, now um, in your extended. What happens when they finally reach out to you? When you finally see that message, um, what's going to happen beyond that? So bear with me, Taurus. I am going to pause your video. When I unpause it, you will see a glimpse of your extended reading. So one second. All right, welcome back, Taurus. As you can see, I have uh, cleaned the table. It was getting a bit messy there. Um, I have four different decks. And just to reiterate, um, especially for those that are new to my channel, um, just so you know how I do my extenders, don't always do them though. Um, I will be focusing 100% on your person, um, their true thoughts and feelings about you and this connection. So I'm very interested to see when they finally get that courage and they send that message, which I know they will, what's going to happen after that here as well. And what are they thinking about presently? You know, also about their in any secrets, desires, intentions, actions, outcome, and of course, advice for both of you is moving forward. So how I do it is that I start with the uh, Light Seers Tarot. I'll be clarifying with the Morgan Greer Tarot. Then I'll be moving on to the um, the answer or the yes and no oracle cards. Sometimes we do get timing here as well. And then I'll be using the Romance Angel Oracle cards. Beautiful messages and advice for both of you moving forward. So I know it seems like there's a lot to get through and well there is. Um, but I do all these readings, extended and YouTube with a lot of love and enthusiasm. So I'll see you on the other side. The link to the extended is in the description box below. First link under the stars um but if this is where we depart taurus i wish you the very very best and if you resonated with this um i really hope that beautiful you know unity peace love all those beautiful things are always yours taurus um and if you did like this reading hit that thumbs up it very well may reach another taurus that needs to hear this message as well so i'll see you on the other side and also in the next couple of days take care bye